folks, I'm Lady and this is First 15 where I bring the first 15 minutes of the latest games releasing on Xbox Game Pass. Today we're playing Sea of Stars. It's a turn-based RPG inspired by the classics of that genre where you play as two children with the combined powers of the sun and the moon defending against evil forces, as you do. And it was published and developed by Sabotage Studio, an indie team based in Quebec. And like most of the games I cover in First 15, it was recently released, even though I tend not to mention it, I usually forget. Now, in this case, it was released back in August, but RPGs are massive, so this first look probably won't touch on everything it has to offer. A playtime is about 27 hours plus. I'll link to the game in the box. Let's get started. Um, bling, 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 bling. Sea of Stars has two main characters. Select the one who will lead the party. This can be changed later and does not affect the story. Well, I, mean, I like Valir's whole, like, color scheme. A monk born on the winter solstice walks the path of the guardian goddess Luana. Or Zael, a blade dancer born on the summer solstice, walks the path of the guardian god Solon. Yeah, I like her color scheme. Now we're going to go with that. She's like, hell yeah. Hell yeah for picking me. <laughs> Welcome to the Great Archives, adventurer. I suppose curiosity brought you here. An important trait, to be sure. I am the Archivist, an immortal versed in the ways of alchemy. All right. You're also a mummy. But perhaps you knew that already? After spending millennia cataloging the many events of countless timelines, I decided to return here to mull over everything I'd seen. In my musings about the stories that fill these books and scrolls, I had a recent epiphany. I have too much time on my hands. <laughs> it seems that in my haste I may have overlooked the very thing I was hoping to find. As such, there is one special story I wish to revisit, one deserving of a witness. And should the mist of time allow a slight alteration, I believe the ray of hope that was once offered may yet bloom. All right. Stop looking at me like that, okay, you creep. So walk with me tonight, and we will explore a tale of high adventure and low fantasy, of magic and deceit, of friendship and wonder, but mostly a tale of heroism. One that I, or heroism, what did I just say? I just pronounced that weird. One that I believe will offer valuable insight in the search for a resolution to the throes of the Flashmancer. Hopefully a resolution that fits your 16 by 9 aspect ratio. <laughs> now I remain a bit lost amidst all these timelines and all their subtle variations. But I know just the one to make for a perfect starting point. Excuse me if you can hear the train going by. Let us see what we find in there. All right. Ah, uh, yes. Our story begins in a world visited by the Fleshmancer generations prior, causing much turmoil and leaving a mark that is yet to be fully cleanse. You guys know this is an adult channel <laughs> for adults like myself, though we do have some younger people who may stumble upon it. Uh, so I'm not going to say what Flesh Mancer reminds me of, but for those of you who are older, <laughs> um, you know, you know, the thing that starts with flesh. Uh, that, that, that's it. Anyway, somewhere on Evermist Island, two brave children of the solstice are on their way to meet with an immortal spirit. In order to become fully fledged solstice warriors, they will need to learn how to use magic without using magic. All right. I do that all the time. It's called charm. You just lay that on people and they're like, oh my God, I will do things for you. And it's like, thank you. I don't need you to do anything for me. I just wanted to be nice. Mountain trail. All right. Oh, <laughs> all right. We made it to the mountain trail. That's funny. So far, so good. I'm not doing voices. This is just the first 15. And also my throat says no. So the elder miss lives somewhere here, huh? Do you think it's just another test? Could be, but it sure beats sitting at the academy. And sewing. Listen, learning how to sew is great, okay? Everybody should learn how to do very basic things for when the apocalypse inevitably comes. 
All right, you're not gonna be able to go to the store. You're gonna have to make your shit. Anyway, huh, yeah, I'm sure glad that's over with. All right. Apply yourselves, for the will you weave into it shall be your sole defense in times of greatest need. While the lessons taught here may appear to be lost on you, something deep inside is compelled to learn. Ha 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 ha! Academics is dumb. Hey, the sun will be setting soon. We should prepare to set up camp. Let's split up and search for a good spot. Okay, goodbye. Time for some scouting. We, oh. I'm coming through. All right, what, I can't use any skills, so let's just attack. Bing, bang, bong. Now you're vulnerable. Ow. I don't appreciate it. Goodbye. Brew Gaves wasn't kidding. These feel easier to fight already. Let's see where this leads. Do, do, do. I want to go see where he went. Oh, I just, oh, I know. I oh, God. I just wanted to see. Okay. I mean, the pixel art is adorable, and it really does have that classic RPG feel. Oh, another fighty spot. Wank, wank. Womp in your head. Ouch, tough one, huh? Let's try this. Crescent arc. Pew. Yeah. Moon Knight was my daddy, bitch. Uh, Valer, found anything? Uh, I found two enemies. What did you find there? It looks like you found some berries. Just a dead end. How about you? Nothing of note, but the way to the top is definitely through here. What do you mean nothing of note? There's like a campfire and berries right there. The sun is setting. Come over. I'll get a fire going. I'll be right there. Can't wait for more tomato clubs. Press A to unroll rope ladders. Okay. Nice. Zoop. I'm coming. I'm going as fast as my little legs can carry me. Woo! Hey woo! Ha woo! And a ha woo! Okay, wow, I'm going in a totally different direction. I feel like this is not how he went to get where he is, but okay. Do 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 do. You're done at a climbing. And now I'm shimmying. Boo bibbidi boo ba doo doo. Climbing again. And again. Do 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 do. Alright. Moonerang! Pew! Pa! Pwa! 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 Ha ha ha! Who do you think I am? Oh, you're not dead. Alright, well, that's fine. I'll just attack you regular. Clank. Now you're gone. Now that is an absolutely cool attack. That was really dope to be able to like parry your own attack to deal more damage. What are you doing game? Are you telling me that you're actually cool? Maybe. Get away from me, sir. I don't want to fight anymore. I just want to go and be with my friend and have tomato clubs or whatever the hell she's talking about. But it doesn't beat the face you made the first time you tried smashing a sunball. Oh, I can still hear the headmaster gloating. As I said, whether by paying attention in class or by recklessly attempting to hit a projectile with your open palm, you will learn the first rule of solar magic. Don't talk about solar magic. To be fair, you did learn. Oh yeah, that one. Only took once. Wow, I just lost the ability to read for a second there. What the hell? You ever miss those years? Before training? Just being kids? Always daydreaming and getting in trouble? Hmm. And making mistakes? Yes, dot, dot, dot. I'm sorry, Valir. I didn't mean... It's okay. I understand why he wouldn't want to join us after what happened. It's just... 
I wish he'd said goodbye, you know. After ten years of not seeing his face, just to know that he's all right. And that we're still friends. <sighs> Why do we have to get ahead of ourselves anyway? Oh, girl. Hey, there's a book. There's a floating book. Ten years ago in the village of Moon Cradle. Oh, so we're going to get to see what mistake they made. So far, I love the artwork. It's very rich, very vibrant. The dialogue doesn't feel stilted and weird. I like the design of the characters. And again, that combat, like if they have, you know, increasingly interesting ways of using combat and, you know, interacting with puzzles, then I think that will just make this game even better. If that's the only time <laughs> that you can do something cool, well, that's better than nothing. My weapon will be something that hits really hard. And I'll pick a fast one. We'll be unstoppable! <laughs> All right, girl, simmer down with your name. Imagine all the wonders we'll find after we leave Evermist Island. I want to see the sleeper. What's that? You've never heard of the sleeper? I had to come all the way back over here to look in your face. Stories say it's a giant serpent and has been sleeping curled up around a mountain since even before there were traveling historians to record it. No way! Sure is, and it's super dangerous too. But don't worry, it can't wake up. Why not? Apparently there's holes in the mountain, and those holes were made for me. <laughs> and the wind blows through them, and that plays a melody that keeps it asleep. Whoa. I want to see it too. It's the bell. Arlena and Brewgaves are back. Quick, maybe we can catch them before they go to the academy. All right. I want to look at this book though. Oh, that's how I save. Perfect. And that's wonderful because, again, even though I record these episodes on my PC, I don't like playing games on my PC, especially longer ones. So I like the fact that, you know, my save data can transfer over to my console and then I can resume playing whatever there. But let's go. Let's go. We've only got a couple of minutes left. I resolve to actually have this episode of First 15 be 15 minutes. Can I go in here? Hello. Hey there, younglings. Are you still playing in that little cave down below? Uh, okay, no. And don't worry about what we're doing, okay? Stop being nosy. And these crops are our main source of food. It's hard work, but I'm reminded every day when we all eat together that the effort is well worth it. Yeah, well, did you die otherwise? Okay. I do love, like, gardening food, though. I think I may have said that before, but I like planting uh, things that you can eat. Okay, nope. Hey, wait. Oh, damn. Art style switch. Oh, it's them. There you are. Playing in your secret hideout again. We were training. I think I can use magic now. Is that so? Let's see it then. Prevent me from burning your face off. Come closer, Zale. Open your palm and concentrate. All right, I'll try. What about you, Valir? Have you been training too? Every day. I bet I'm stronger than you now, bitch. <laughs> I'm sure you are. Come in there. All right, come, come, come on. Come over here and punch me in the face. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, easy now. I can't report to the headmaster if you knock me out. That was awesome, Zale. You did it. Solstice Warriors. If you're done with your babysitting duties, I would hear your report. <sighs> right away, Headmaster, you jerk. Can we go too? Believe me, once you enter Zenith Academy, you'll wish you hadn't. Let's go, Brigades. Do 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 being adults. Alright. <laughs> Look at little Zale. 
<laughs> hey, the full moon is out. Huh? He's right. Want to go to the Forbidden Cavern again? We tried already. I can't open it. Yeah, but last time we decided maybe the full moon could make the rune more sensitive. I'm sure it'll work, and Moraine will be so impressed he'll take you two in for training right away and then we'll be allowed to leave the island and whatever that said. What if he gets mad and delays our training instead? Nah, no way. None of our facial expressions are going to change, even though the developer took the time to make artwork for our dialogue. <laughs> well, we can worry about that after I open it. I mean, if I open it. All right, let's go. Let's go to wherever the mistake is that's inevitably going to ruin our friendship. Can I go this way? What's over here? We are coming upon 15 minutes, friends. Oh, I was going the right way. I didn't even realize. <laughs> ah, I'm gonna go save. That is perfect timing, guys, because it's exactly 15 minutes. Whoop, womp. Nice. Look at that. Look at the time. It says it right there. 15 minutes, guys. You can't tell me no. All right. So I think we've seen enough of this. Cute dialogue, cute characters. Got a nice setup. Again, it's just the pixel art is so luscious. Like, I like the fact that they have these like deeper, richer, like more saturated colors for everything. And then like the contrast between that and just the highlights on everything's edge. Very nice. Love the characters. Garl, why are you so much bigger than us? Uh, anyway, yeah, <laughs> so that was the first 15 of Sea of Stars. If you like what you see, you can play it right now on Game Pass. And if you like this series, please like the video to show your support. I'll see you back here soon with another Game Pass release. Until then, thanks so much for watching and happy gaming.